Alright guys, welcome to issue 63. Before we get cracking, I just want to say thank you to my subscribers. I hit a thousand subs today and I'm really over the moon with it. When I first started doing these videos, not specifically Conquest, but other videos when I first started the channel, the goal was always to reach a thousand subscribers and enjoy myself. And I've done both now and I'm really, really happy. Um, I didn't expect a few weeks ago that I'd hit a thousand subs by now. A bit, a bit, but a bit of work I've been doing on my Instagram and on Reddit has driven some traffic to the channel today and I will get on to why that is at the end of the video. So if you want a preview for a few things that are coming up, stay to the end of the video and we'll have a look at that. But for now, thank you so much and I will be doing a few special videos just for, to kind of mark the milestone. Anyway, issue number 63, what have we got? We've got Death Guard Reinforcements. So we have exactly the same sprue as we got in issue number 60. The only difference is that we've got a few parts left over from a previous issue. I think they were issues 33 and 40 something, and that is to make up one of the Plague Marines. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. First though, let's take a look at the magazine. So what have we got? In this issue, more Death Guard reinforcements arrive with this issue with 10 pox walkers and a Plague Marine to add to your forces. This is the same set you received in issue 60. This means you need to use your second set of spare Plague Marine parts from issue 33 or 46 to complete the kit. Because you've already painted a set of these miniatures, we've omitted a paint guide for them in this issue. Just use the guide, just use the guide label Death Guard 20 from issue 60 and your models will be ready for battle in no time. Happy hobbying. Okay, so what have we got? Death Shroud Terminators. Which are these dudes here. Legacy of Secrecy. The Chronicle of, hist of the History of the Dark Angels continues. The Eldari, 40k faction number three. Discover the mysterious Eldari race. Ancient Aliens Who Once Ruled the Galaxy. Then we've got more chapters, so the Raven Guard. Again, the Battle for Navaris. Read the epic tale of the Civil Templars liberating their homeworld Navaris. Then we've got uh, the Building Guide for our Poxwalkers. Then we've got Rules Mission 47, Hold Back the Horde. Typhus attempts to spread the curse of the Walking Pox. Can the Ultramarines hold back the Poxwalker Hordes? And then finally, we've got rules for terrain, the water grate. This printed terrain piece is on the inside back cover of this issue. You will lay it on the battle mat in this issue's mission. So what have we got? Death Shroud Terminators. They're our elite scythe-wielding warriors swollen with Nurgle's repulsive gifts. Death Shroud have a well-earned reputation for cruelty and menace. Death Shroud Terminators tower over their foes, Rusted Gauntlets swing vast battle scythes known as Man Reapers. Man Reapers, that's so grim. Right, that's cool. A little bit more information about them there. On to the legacy of secrecy. Dark Angels continue to battle with the enemies of the Imperium, winning many great victories. Meanwhile, their obsession with hunting down the Fallen continues unabated. So this has got a bit of their history. So Millennium... 40 to 41. It's got a lot of stuff there on that. It covers a lot of that history, so that's interesting. Now the Eldari. The Eldari are an ancient spacefaring race that ruled the galaxy before humanity existed. The Eldari Empire was destroyed long ago in an event known as the Fall, and only scattered survivors remain. Despite this, their, enemy, enemy, their armies fight on for the survival of their species. That is nice. Interestingly, there's no... They normally do a showcase in a lot of the recent issues, so I expected an Eldari one, but not today. Then we're on to the Raven Guard successor chapters. So we look at the Revilers, Knights of the Raven, the Rift Stalkers, the Black Guard. Raptors, Necropolis Hawks, Iron Ravens, and Death Spectres. Okay, so next we've got the Silver Templars battle for, for Navaris. The first of the Silver Templars were created in the gene labs and foundries of Mars. 
They were amongst the first of the primary spa space marines to be awakened and served for many long years in Rabut Gulliman's Indomitus Crusade, eventually earning their own chapter planet, Navaris. Lots more stuff about them. Then we've got Navaris enslaved. Navaris has proved a tempting prize for another force, one with far darker designs upon the planet. Heretic Astartes of the Flawless Host had enslaved the planet's population to further their cruel plans. So that's enslaved. Navaris liberated. Avenging Angels. The arrival of the Silver Templars in the Navaris system caught the flawless host by surprise. Their small fleet was hopelessly outgunned by the Space Marines and it was forced to flee before they could evacuate their forces on the planet's surface. As soon as the Chaos Vessels fled into the depths of the warp, the Space Marine fleet began bombarding the Heretic Astartes positions on the planet below. Okay, then we've got how to build our models. And what I'm going to do is I've built all of the Pox Walkers on issue 60, so if you want to see them, look at that. But what I'll do is I will put together the alternate Plague Marine. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Again, no paint guide this week. Revert back to the one from issue 60. Now, rules mission 47, the Destroyer Plague. Typhus has lain low since his arrival on Corbon 2, directing matters from the shadows and spreading the Destroyer Plague as he goes. Now the fruits of his labour are becoming apparent. A tide of poxwalkers has emerged from Corvon 2's polluted oceans and descends upon the city of Huxfall. Mm, lots of poxwalkers. Okay, so what have we got? This is the piece of printed terrain, so we're going to rip this off. I'm going to use that on the battlefield. And in fact... If you look there, there's a, a 3D representation of that that's been made up, which looks nice. Okay, hold back the horde. The mission includes an extra piece of printed terrain to place on your battle mat. You can find this piece of terrain on the inside back cover of this magazine. You will need to place it on the mat on the location shown below before you begin playing this mission. This mission uses an additional piece of terrain printed on the inside, blah, blah, blah. Place it on your battle mat and the piece shown above. A circular grate is the main objective. No models are allowed to move through, over, or onto the circular grate. So the armies are Typhus, three units of ten pox walkers, ten chaos cultists, and five plague marines. Up against Primaris Chaplain, Primaris Ancient, two units of five intercessors, three reavers, and three aggressors. Deployment. Are the Space Marine players deploys their units first within three inches of the center. So again, we've got all three of our battle mats in play here, or at least the larger ones. The Death Guard units move onto the board at the start of their movement phase. And the Death Guard player takes the first turn. Victory conditions are the Space Marine player is victorious. If they manage to stop any of the Pox Walkers reaching the water pipe. Death Guard player wins the game if they manage to get any Poxwalkers models onto the base contact with the center of the water pipe marked in red. So right on there. The game lasts for five battle rounds. OK, so that is pretty interesting. Now, looking back at issue 61, when there is major errors on the on the mission there. So there's no response from Hachette on it. They're just telling people to return their magazines if they're not happy to um, to the to the retailer that they bought them from. At least that's what I've been told to do. So it's a bit of a crappy response, to be honest, but it is what it is. I doubt it's going to get fixed either. You know, I'd like to say that Games Workshop or someone would put out a PDF just to fix it, but I doubt it's going to happen even though I hope it does and if I do find out it does I'll, I'll obviously do an update on that but that's a real shame okay so but this is a good magazine I like it so what we've got next next week we've got more astrogranite and then the week after we've got ultramarines command space marine heroes 
and they look pretty smashing. Okay, let's make up our other Plague Marine and then we'll come back and I will show that to you and I'll show you a little bit about what's coming up next. Right, so let's have a look at our Plague Marine. Now you can see that we have received, I think, two grey sprues, or maybe even just one, as part of the Warhammer 40k Conquest range. Um, and obviously one of them intersects with this model. But it's very cool, very nice. So overall, I think we've got a solid issue this week. I like the, I quite like the printed terrain. It looks quite interesting, but I do actually like more this photo of the uh, of a physical version of it that we I might have a go on making that up because um, I think it looks pretty cool. But yeah, very good. So thanks very much for that. Now in terms of what's coming up next, if there's any fans of Warcry out there. Something I've been doing is this Monsters and Mercenaries book, very, very handy for expanding your teams and getting some allies involved and that kind of thing. However, I'm not a big fan of having to refer to this book to, to find your allies. So, for example, here we've got the Corn Bloodbound. Um, if you want to bring any one of these models into your warband, you need to have this book handy, you can check all their stats on there, you can check their rune mark to see what abilities they've got and all that kind of stuff. So what I've done is I've created their own cards. And I'm midway through doing this for every single character and monster in the book. And so what I'll be doing is I'll be bringing you a video later this week which is going to so it's going to give you three options really. I'm going to show you either how to make these yourself. I'll show you how to uh, get a low res version of the ones that I've done, or, or all of the ones that I will do by the end. And I'll give you an option for getting a high res version as well on PDF. But that's coming out on probably Thursday, so look out for that. Um, I also intend to do similar cards for Kill Team. Now, I, I know the Kill Team cards are pretty good. Um, well, at least the ones that are available, but they're just not all available. So I'm going to be doing the same sort of thing for them and again, releasing them on some sort of PDF going forward. But let's get Warcry done first. We'll have the Warcry Tome of Champions out towards the end of the year. I'll do the rest on those, and then I'll start working through the Kill Team range as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and thanks again to all of my subscribers that helped me to meet, reach that milestone of a, of a thousand subs. Again, I know it's not a massive amount um, by any stretch of the imagination, but it's made me really happy. So thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you later.